Yo guys, what's up? It's Henry the Lawn Care Kid back with another video and today I'm going to be showing off my 2021 lawn care setup. Uh, I am 15 years old so I mean I'm pretty proud of what I have here. Uh, service around 30 lawns a week so um, we do use most of this equipment. Uh, let's start off with my, my push mower. Uh, this is a Troy built TB320 uh, so it's a rear wheel drive machine, 150cc. Um, we don't use this thing very often, but uh, occasionally we do. Um, let's go over my blowers. This is uh, Echo 8010T. This thing is uh, a beast. Um, I've had this thing since last year, and uh, it's gotten tons of use, and I love it. Um, here is my other blower. This is the Renmax EBZ 8550. This thing is a little newer. Um, got it this spring. Uh, have used it quite a bit. Um, but yeah, this thing is awesome. I honestly do think I like this thing more than the 8010. Um, but that's just me. Here is my Steel MS uh, 271 chainsaw. This thing is quite the machine uh definitely cuts up wood no problem uh i definitely love that chainsaw it does have a problem starting but once it starts it it rips uh here's my extended hedge trimmer this is a. Uh, it's not a combi system or anything like that uh it's just a hedge trimmer this is a SRTZ 260F from Redmax, of course. Um, as you guys can tell, all my handheld is Redmax. Uh, I did have all steel last year, um, but I decided to get away from them and get Redmax. Um, they're just uh, more reliable, in my opinion, and uh, just nicer pieces of equipment. Here is my my edger. This is a Redmax HEZ 230S. Uh, this thing is pretty underpowered, to be honest. Um, but uh, if you're just edging bi-weeklies or weeklies, it's it's a good uh, edger, but it does bog down quite a bit. And uh, I might end up selling it and getting more powerful Red Max one. But uh, over here, I have my two trimmers, my two weed whackers. These are both Red Max BCZ 260 TSs. Um, they're super nice. I definitely prefer them over steel. 91s or 94s they just have so much more power they're so light like look at this just no problem whatsoever uh, knock this one over of course um but they're super light of course i get all my equipment from uh weingarts ann arbor they just have awesome customer service and they have uh all the equipment i want there so yep and of course i am rocking uh bulletproof speed feed um these bulletproof speed feeds are the way to go um this is uh you know i have to put that on myself of course but it's just a just a bolt and a washer and a drill hole and it keeps it from your cap uh from your cap wearing out which is nice um but these things uh they always start first or second pull and haven't had any issues uh so here is my one of my mowers this is a 2016 turf tiger 2 with the 61 inch velocity plus deck rocking the 35 horsepower vanguard on this one um definitely the way to go uh this one of course has the rollover protection let's see can i pop this one handed yes i can uh the turf tigers are drive shaft driven so the engine does sit vertically and which is that is nice because you have a uh, more torque to the deck and you also have all your belts for your deck right here which is awesome because if you break a belt you don't have to crawl underneath the mower it's all right behind it which is sweet awesome design in my opinion um this turf tiger is uh Quite the beast especially with 35 horsepower you can't beat it uh is that poop i'm not sure <laughs> but these do have the 26 inch tires which is insane that's huge um most mowers are 
Uh, most commercial mowers are 24 inches. And then I'm rocking the advanced chute blocker on here. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, definitely, uh, it's great for mulching. And the Turf Tiger is also great for mulching because it has an adjustable baffle under there. Um, so I have it down all the way, but I'll be putting it back up, up once we get into more mowing. Uh, this one does have the suspension seat, of course. Super comfortable. Um, also have the Tiger Eye system. Uh, we have 506.7 hours on this thing. So uh, still has plenty of use, plenty of life. Um, and this one is carbureted, so we do have the choke. And then uh, your gas gauge is down here as well. Um, huge gas tank, I think it's 11 and a half gallons. And then this, you can also adjust uh, um, the incline of your seat, which is nice. Um, so yeah, 2016 Turf Tiger is a beast. I did pick this up last, uh, last summer uh, and uh, I love it. And then here is the newest addition of course, uh, this is a 2021 Xmark Laser Z X series. This one does have the 801 Kawasaki on it, and this uh, this one does have the 60 inch deck. So it is a uh, quite the beast um, compared to the Turf Tiger. Uh, I'm not sure which one I like more. They're definitely a uh, kind of different machines in my opinion. But this one, the seat on this thing is a lot more comfortable. That is for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're both super solid machines. Here I have a, or the, the Laser Z has a huge cup holder as well as storage here. Uh, found these two golf balls on a property I mow next to a golf course. So uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to start a collection. Um, here's the little kind of, uh, control operators area uh, throttle and your choke this is a carbureted machine uh, but yeah this machine has 15.6 hours on it um, so it is uh, still pretty new did uh, some of our weekly clients with it and uh, did a few little spring cleanups as well um, uh, these padded armrests are super nice compared to the turf tiger over here that just has those rubber armrests um, but yeah, this machine is awesome. Uh, this does have the OCDC chute from Xmark. Uh, pop that open. Yeah. Show you guys how that works. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I mean this, uh, this, this machine is sweet. Um, you know, I definitely, I really like it. Cut quality is there. Striping is there. Um. But yeah, super comparable to the Turf Tiger over here. Um, this one does have uh, a lot less power. This has 25.5 horsepower. This has 35. And uh, so this is a little less, but both super solid machines. Also here is a, a rock wall we built, um, uh, let's see, like two weeks ago. Still need to, you know, put down grass seed and do some more work here, but awesome. Uh, yeah, well, here is the setup, uh, 15, year old, 15 years old and blessed. Uh, you know, I I have a awesome clients, uh, <laughs> drop the bad ones. Uh, that's a tip, you know, if you ever have an annoying client, get rid of them, you know, you'll be better off without them. But all my clients support me. This is uh, all my own money, of course, you know. I don't have my parents buy me things, nor would my parents want to buy me things. Um, but... Yeah, here it is, 2021 setup. Um, over here, this is the the trailer I use for some of my uh, accounts. Uh, most of my accounts are just in a driving distance with the mowers, but a few accounts I do need this trailer. This is a five and a half by ten from Tractor Supply, so just wide enough to uh, you know fit a 60 inch mower on it. Um, solid trailer. I've had it for maybe two years. Uh, it's getting a little rusty. I think I'm gonna use take an angle grinder to it and uh, repaint it. But yeah, it's a decent little trailer. Um, it's not bad. And then let's see in here. I love these uh, these no spill cans. These things are awesome. Uh, definitely the way to go. I haven't tried uh, one of those uh, 
what are the other cans? Um, I'm not sure what they're called, but uh, I really like no spills. But, yep. 8010, head trimmer, edger, 8550, 260s, 271, Turf Tiger 2, X Mark Laser Z. So. I love this setup. Um, I did order a $800 cart to pull behind uh, these mowers. Um, it has eight wheels, has a flip down gate, trimmer racks, everything. So it's a, it's a pretty nice cart. Um, I'll show you guys a video of that once I get it in. But um, I've already, uh, I already have a lot more work this year than I did last year. So I think I'm gonna crush it this year and uh, I think I'm gonna make a ton of money and then next year, uh, we're going to try to get a big trailer and a truck and a big plow. So that's the plan. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, that, uh, um, what is that, that 3,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, That those winners will be announced in the next day or two. So have a good one, guys. Bye.